To the surprise of absolutely nobody in the country, President Donald Trump has been acquitted and impeachment failed. And, you know, I was contemplating maybe rushing to get this out yesterday, but I just thought to myself, what's the point? Like, every single person in America knew what the end result would be. So this isn't even really breaking news. It's just, you know, the vote was happening today. We knew what would happen. The only surprise element was would any Republican flip? you know, and uh, Mitt Romney did. This entire thing just kind of proves what we all suspected, that everything in D.C. is little more than political theater, and presidents are basically kings. They can do what they want. And even if Democrats hadn't botched this process, even if they ran a semi-competent, you know, impeachment trial, I mean, would the end result changed if they announced articles of impeachment for Trump's, you know, a violations of the emoluments clause or war crimes, would that have changed the end result? No, I don't think it would have, because then you'd have to assume that Republicans would do the right thing. And that's, you know, implying that Democrats would do the right thing. Of course not. I mean, look, a lot of liberals like to, um, they like to grandstand, for lack of a better word, and talk about how, oh, well, you know, that impeachment of Bill Clinton in the 90s, that was really a witch hunt. But my view is, look, if I'm being consistent and principled, we're impeaching every fucking president because they're all criminals. I mean, Bill Clinton's impeachment, even if it was a political witch hunt, he committed perjury. If a normal peasant would have done that, they would have already been thrown in jail. So to me, this is about principle. This is about holding elites accountable. And, you know, at the end of the day, we all knew what the end result would be. This is no surprise. But, I mean, it's just a matter of, um, in fact, I don't know what what it's a matter of. I, I don't have words. Like, this week in politics has been so strange, yet somehow not surprising, because Chaos is what we've come to expect as the norm in American politics. So, I mean, the real surprise would have come if he were convicted. But, I mean, this is what we all expected. So, going to the New York Times, Nicholas Fandos explains a little bit more about what happened. After five months of hearings, investigations, and cascading revelations about President Trump's dealings with Ukraine, a divided United States Senate acquitted him on Wednesday of charges that he abused his power and obstructed Congress to aid his own re-election, bringing an acrimonious impeachment trial to its expected end. In a pair of nearly party-line votes whose outcome was never in doubt, the Senate fell well short of the two-thirds margin that would have been needed to remove Mr. Trump, formally concluding the three-week-long trial of the 45th president that has roiled Washington and threatened the presidency. But in a sign of the widening partisan divide testing the country and its institutions, the verdict did not promise finality. Democratic leaders immediately insisted the result was illegitimate, the product of a self-interested cover-up by Republicans and promised to continue their investigations of Mr. Trump. As expected, the tally in favor of conviction fell far below the 67-vote threshold necessary for removal on each article. The first charge was abuse of power, accusing Mr. Trump of a scheme to use the levers of government to coerce UK to do his political bidding, did not even garner a majority vote, failing on a vote of 48 to 52. The second article, charging Mr. Trump with obstructing Congress for an across-the-board blockade of House subpoenas and oversight requests failed 47 to 53. So, I mean, about what we expected. And afterwards, he took to Twitter to gloat by reposting the um, video where, you know, it basically jokes about him staying in power indefinitely and basically becoming a dictator. He actually pinned this to the top of his Twitter profile, and he's posted this before. This is just a troll, but at the same time, I mean, imagine if Obama was joking, quote unquote joking, about remaining in power indefinitely. He kind of, he made some comment in Nigeria, I think, and he said, look, if I were to run for president for a third term, I think I would win, but we have institutions that prevent that. And they freaked out. At the end of the day, what's the takeaway from impeachment? I mean, that Washington, D.C. is a cesspool. Elites can commit crimes and violate the Constitution and get away with it. And you have individuals on both sides of each team in D.C. I'm talking about the pundits, you know, the reporters 
who cheer on their their team. Yas Queen when Nancy Pelosi rips up his State of the Union speech. And then you have sycophantic pigs who support Donald Trump no matter what he does, even if, you know, they are brazenly hypocritical and were saying different things about impeachment back in the 90s when it applied to Bill Clinton. So, I mean, this is something that overall... Um, I think a lot of people will argue that this is going to further embolden Donald Trump, and maybe you could say that that's the case. Maybe he really feels vindicated in the sense that he can get away with anything. But at the end of the day, I mean, what do you what do you do if he commits a crime and violates the Constitution? I mean, are we just supposed to sit back and think, well, you know, it's not politically expedient to impeach him currently? Um, you know, we don't have a cor a competent. I was going to say we don't have a corrupt, but we do have a corrupt, uh, incompetent opposition party who is going to botch whatever impeachment proceedings. Does that mean that we don't do it if he's brazenly, brazenly, you know, violating the Constitution and breaking the law? I mean, there's a lot of difficult questions that I think we'll all have to mull over as a country. But at the end of the day, this is not anything that's surprising to anyone. Uh, I still hate Democrats and Republicans unequally. Nonetheless, I hate them both. And, you know, Donald Trump will continue to uh, ruin the country. Democrats will respond in the most uh, feckless, ineffectual way imaginable. And at home, we will continue to get hungrier and poorer while elites get richer and richer. And that's not going to change. You know, this inequality, this corruption is now as American as apple pie. And I think that Americans see that. And that's why a lot of people have tuned out of the process, especially seeing the shit show that has taken place in Iowa over the course of the last week. So, I mean, I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to make of this. There's really no concrete takeaway. We don't know what the this is going to lead to. Um, I just don't know. We expected this, and here we are. That's that. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad. Very sad. I'm unsubscribing.